this is May with It's Always May here at Clark's Gadget River Resort, about to embark on our very first road trip on the prettiest wildest stretch of highway in Washington. We just finished eating at the eatery here in Skagit County, which is well known for its famous cinnamon rolls. So come along and join us as we head off. Standing here at the Diablo Dam with the rocky terrain just below and the massive force of the waterfalls as it hits the river below. You've got the gorgeous view of the snow caps just above. It's a very picturesque scene, I have to say. I'm loving it, just standing here in the brisk air. Wow, I am so happy to be living in an environmentally conscious state where we're able to harness Mother Nature's power. So I started out on this journey wearing shorts and wedges and now I'm in leggings and hiking shoes which allowed me to trek through this amazing snow on a 4,755 foot pass. I'm ready to look out at the overlook and see what's in store. If you're going to take a trip on the North Cascade and you're only going to stop at one place, make sure to check out Washington Overlook Pass and the Liberty Bell Mountain. It's such a beautiful sight. Five to ten million years ago, these mountains were more rounded than they are today. State Creek started in Cooper Basin and flowed off to the right in a smooth curve around Liberty Bell Mountain. A million years ago, ice began to fill the valleys and slowly erode away the mountain flanks. At the climax of the glacier period, the early winter's glacier broke through the ridge and captured the head of State Creek Glacier. Today, early winter's creek still flows around the sharp bend and has its start where State Creek used to be. The mountains are sharper and steeper now, and Liberty Bell stands out in its beauty. We've reached the last leg of our trip in Winthrop, Washington, and you can continue further to Lake Chelan, but we're stopping here as our destination, a Western-style themed town. You've got wooden sidewalks and rectangular shops, but we're heading over to Sherry's Sweet Shop, so come along and join us. Cherries to try? Milk or dark? Um, what do you recommend? I love a milk chocolate. You're a milk chocolate? Okay, then I'll get a milk chocolate. Okay. Well, thank you. Yep, that's it. 
Hi, this is May with It's Always May here with Doug Moore standing in front of Sherry's Sweet Shop. Doug, tell me a little bit about your shop. How did it start? Sherry's Sweet Shop started 21 years ago when uh, both Sherry and I worked over on the west side. We got a little tired of the rat race over there, so we came over to Winthrop and we bought this building. There really wasn't anything in it, and we've just over the first four or five years turned into a candy ice cream espresso bakery shop and it's kind of just evolved from there and it what it is now what type of sweets do you happen to sell well we make we make all of our chocolates we make the chocolates we make brittles we make all the caramel um, we make english toffee we make sea foam um, just a, just a multitude of things. All hand rolled truffles. Um, we make we have 40 flavors of ice cream. We make we can only make about 28 because of just the production facility is limited by size. So we make 28 of the 40 flavors we have. Every morning we bake world famous cinnamon rolls that uh, they've been written up in the Boston Globe. Our cinnamon rolls, baked apple fritters. We make cookies. We make brownies. Um, we bake fresh bread every morning and we make breakfast sandwiches. Um, we're all, we're, we are constantly making something here. Tomorrow we're going to be making ice cream all day. You are a true connoisseur. Now is there a best seller that you happen to sell? Um, from, the, from the chocolate perspective, it is the turtles by far and the caramel. The sea salt caramel in the last two years have been just this incredible rage. Um, and I just started making chocolate covered bacon, which is going good too. That happens to be <laughs> one of my favorites, by the way. Exactly what is a turtle? I don't really know what those are. A turtle, your, your, your basic generic turtles are just pecans covered with caramel and covered with chocolate. And we have the chocolate, or we have pecan turtles and almond turtles. Now, ice cream, the most popular ice cream is the black raspberry cheesecake. Yes. And our pumpkin ice cream, which we'll start making next month, that's been featured in Sunset Magazine. Would you mind telling our viewers where they can find you? Do you have a web base or? Um... We have we have a uh, website, Sherry Sweet Shop, um, Sherry Sweet Shop .com. Uh, We're located right in downtown Winthrop on the scenic North Cascade Highway on the east side of the Cascade Highway as you come over the Cascade. You can't miss us. This is the only stop sign for approximately 200 and some miles on Highway 20. When you come to the only stop sign in the middle of Highway 20 in Winthrop, just look left or right, we're right there. So, we're going to try Doug's recommendation on his milk chocolate bacon. So here it goes. good. You have the crisp bacon flavor with the salty sweetness to it. The texture is really good. If you can, come down to Sherry's Sweet Shop here in Winthrop, Washington and try this incredible chocolate bacon. <laughs>